Dr. Zaki, can a person undergo blood transfusion and or accept an injection which nourishes his or her body during the fast? As far as blood transfusion is concerned, it comes in the same category as getting some nourishment. When you transfuse blood into the body, blood is considered as something of nourishment, something similar to food. Because the food that we eat, it enters the stomach, goes into the bloodstream, and that's what makes up the blood. So when you transfuse blood, it's taken as though it's a sort of nourishment and food entering the body, so that breaks the fast. Similarly, if you put any food via the Ryle's tube into the stomach, that too breaks the fast. If it's parental feeding, it breaks the fast. Or if you inject anything which is in a form of nourishment, then that breaks the fast. Even kidney dialysis, as I mentioned earlier, that if you take out blood from the kidney and you purify it and add into it food nutrients and chemicals and put back into the body, that too breaks the fast. Taking any injection, whether intravenous, whether intramuscular or subcutaneous, if it does not contain nourishment, if it contains the form of nourishment, it breaks the fast. If it's only for medicinal purpose, not containing nourishment, then that does not invalidate the fast and the person can take that.